Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here. Uh, vlog. It's... It's sad. I'm okay, I said I wasn't gonna cry. No. Um, no, I'm in my eyes water, that's fun. Uh, this is that vlog that I was talking about a very long time ago. By a long time ago, I mean about two weeks. One week, maybe, somewhere around there. Uh, talking about my collecting habits, buying habits, uh, the future of the channel, and such like. I'm sorry, I'm really itchy for some reason. But anyway, <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, no editing in this, so this will be fun. Um, in fact, I'm probably not even going to put my bumpers in there, just post it straight to YouTube, so hi, YouTube. Uh, but anywho, um, so yeah, I buy a lot of shit. Um, that is common knowledge. Um, I, I'm not going to say I get paid a lot, but I, uh, on good months, July has been probably the worst month of the year so far. It has potential to be worse than January, which I think is incredible because January was awful. But I get paid a decent amount of money through my ad revenue. I won't lie. It covers all of my toy purchases for the entire month. Um, so any additional money I make through my work for CS Toys and then anything I have left over all goes for life things like uh, going out, um, buying random things that I find at the store, getting groceries if I need some food and stuff. So, um, I'm comfortable, I think. Uh, but, uh, here's, here's kind of the deal. Like, I, I'm happy with where I am, where, blah, 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 words, where I'm at. Um, very comfortable where I'm at, actually. Um, but, like, that's the thing where it, it's too comfortable. I mean, most people know I still live at home. Um, so I am pretty much set for the most part in terms of how much I make, how much I spend, and then everything else is kind of given to me. And while I am very thankful for the position that I'm in, I also want to kind of break free from it. Um, me and Kat want to buy a house soon-ish. By soon-ish, I mean probably a year, a year and a half still, but... It's a lot of money saving involved in that. But um, basically we need to kind of get to a point where we are happy and that will come eventually. But in, when you consider trying to kind of be on your own, you need money, you need to save money. I've got about, what's that, I think it's at $13,000 in student loans I need to pay off. Um, as well as a credit card bill, and I think those are the only two bills I pay, but yep. Uh, and obviously on top of that, if we do get our own place, be in an apartment or otherwise, we obviously have rent to pay too, um, so I mean, she's helping the best that she can, but I'm the bigger money maker right now. So basically what's going on is I need to cut back on things. And it's hard for me to do, particularly with figure arts, in the sense that I've got a complete collection of these things, for the most part. There's a couple things I'm missing right now, like the spacesuit guy, and um, I think the Forze module set 5 I never bought, the wizard effect set I never bought, um, that one Forze effect set from Tamashii Nations I never bought. But things like that, um, so there are holes in the collection, but not that many, and it's been going really good up through here, and the way that my mind works is kind of a get them all or don't get any sort of thing, uh, and it, that's kind of irritating to me anyway, because it's something that's really hard for me to get over. Um, there is certain things that I absolutely do not buy, like some of the gimmick uh, things, like that are just either A, too expensive, or B, weren't in the show and just weren't really that important. The rider rings were something I could have easily um, skipped if I had stuck to my guns a little bit better, but now I'm so deep in them that I never stopped. Um, the, the rider wizard rings, the normal ones from the show I'm perfectly fine with and want, but uh, speaking of, I still need to find a Christmas ring since that one was actually used in the show. I kind of need it. But anywho, um, 
Yeah, so basically, I, I need to cut back, and I think figure arts are going to honestly take the biggest hit, uh, and that's, it's a difficult kind of thing, um, in a sense that I think it's what I'm most known for, is having a billion and a half figure arts reviewing said figure arts. Uh, and despite the fact that my deluxe Sentai and Rider stuff makes ten times the amount of views that my figure arts reviews ever do, and I completely understand that. The roleplay toys with Rider and stuff are something that you kind of need to, to see and hear to kind of make your judgment. Whereas a figure, you can look at a photo gallery and get pretty much the same exact thing that I'm doing just without my annoying voice. So, I mean, I perfectly understand figure arts not getting as many views. Uh, and so that's why I kind of want figure arts to take the biggest hit. And when you think about it, I mean, my friend Josh pointed this out to me. Um, if you're watching, hey. Uh, these are $30 to $50, sometimes more a piece. Uh, and that is a lot when you consider that on some months I get about seven of them between the retail releases and the exclusives. Uh, the retail releases obviously aren't all that pricey and they're usually the ones that I want more. Uh, and that's true. Um, in not my last vlog, but the vlog before last where this whole man I'm so depressed joke started. Um, it's true in a way I'm not depressed or anything. In fact, I'm super duper happy. But um, it's true that I the excitement for certain things wasn't there. Um, the figure arts that month were X and Machine Winger, both of which I weren't excited for whatsoever. Though X is a very good figure, I just don't have any attachment to the Showa guys. So um, I kind of don't really get excited for them. But they are fantastic figures. Um... The uh, Machine Winger is a bike. I really don't give two craps about the bikes, honestly. Uh, so, I just wasn't excited for those. And then you've got um, the Curie Gold stuff. There you go. Um, that I explained in one of the comments in my last vlog that um, I just wasn't excited for those for the fact that I had gotten them pretty much about a month after they released. And uh, I had seen so many videos regarding them that uh, I just wasn't excited for them because I knew exactly what they did, exactly what they sounded like, and knew everything about them to a T. And so the only excitement was actually owning them and kind of playing with them a little bit. That was the only excitement I got out of those. The White Wizard Driver was really fun. I was excited for that. Um, and it was really fun to scan all the rings. I knew what most of the sounds were, but it was fun just kind of hearing them in person. Um, so in that aspect, the White Wizard Driver was, like, the only thing in that box besides, like, the LBXs and stuff for the month that I was really excited for. And so I understand how that came across. And, uh, it, like I said, it's true. Uh, I've realized lately, um, that, particularly that things like the, uh, BotCon reveals for the Generation stuff, not so much the Beast Hunters, because the upscale Cyberverse stuff doesn't really thrill me. Um, but that's only going to be for tail end of the Beast Hunters line, so I'm okay with that. But and In fact, just real quick, I'm perfectly comfortable with them going to a... That guy just dropped something. Um, going to a simpler basics, or simpler deluxes and simpler voyagers. Perfectly fine with that because I like simpler transformers. But anyway, I noticed a lot of the BotCon reveals I was more excited for than anything shown at the newest Tamashi show, um, or magazines or anything like that. And the Sentai scans, the newest Kuro scans, I flipped to shit, because Bragigas is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I get to buy the Gabu Revolver again, and, um, what else was there? Um, the Black Kuro Awesome. I love robots, so absolutely friggin' awesome. Um... And I sat there and was legitimately excited for those. Um, Gaimu, not sure how I'm going to react because I don't know anything about it other than, oh, he's a samurai or something about fruit rumors or whatever. But my purchasing of Gaimu is going to really depend on how I feel about it. 
Um, so we'll see how his gimmick is. But as of right now, I do not plan on buying Gaimu. But if his gimmick really blows me away, then I might if I really like it. But we'll see because I he's still invisible. We don't know where he is. Um, other than be not airing until October or something. But, um, yeah, figures. So we have Black Renewal, Kabuto Renewal, um, a bunch of Blade guys, more and more bikes. Apparently, Garen and Chalice might come with their bikes, which angers me because I don't really want the bikes. I'd rather just pay for the figure itself, but, um, there's that, uh... Alternative Zero, he's cool, I guess. But basically what I'm trying to say is figure arts are going to take a hit. I need to cut back on them. Um, I might be thinning out my collection. I'm still trying to kind of gather a... Uh, kind of, not a list, but a... Guideline, maybe? Um, like, only buying main riders... Um, and, um, and the secondary riders, obviously. Like, basically getting one figure for each character, like getting their base forms and just calling it a day. Um, I was thinking of main form and final form, um, and skipping the, the little, the main little form changes. That was an idea, too. I'm not really sure yet. Um, still thinking about that and trying to iron it out, but basically what I wanted to get to is what on my channel do you guys most enjoy what do you um come here to see basically um is it the sentai stuff rider stuff figure arts um other tamashi products um just kind of curious on where that is if i were to stop reviewing every figure art under the sun which i don't actually do because my backlog is entirely made of figure arts basically um would that be okay? Would everyone, would someone rage quit? I'm fine if you rage quit, honestly, I don't really care. But um, I just kind of want to gauge what people most enjoy about my channel and kind of build a, build a budget from there. Because if, the, the way views go, figure arts aren't really worth it. Unless I absolutely want said figure art, it's not really worth it for me to buy a 30 to 50 dollar figure and not really get that money back in terms of views uh if it's if it's like a retail release or exclusive that i really want to get then by all means i'm gonna get it i get what i want more than uh anything else but in terms of buying something strictly for review which is the case for power rangers but they make their money like four times fold but um but yeah so basically the point of this really long ramble it's probably going to end at about 15 minutes um is basically the fact that i need to cut back i'm going to cut back in some fashion and i just kind of wanted to gauge how big of a hit that's going to take and if everyone's okay with that um like i said you guys mean a lot to me because i wouldn't be where i'm at both here on youtube and here in my life in a sense without you guys so you guys mean a lot so I just kind of want to talk about what's going on talk about what's on my mind get it off my chest and see what you guys think um, but yes yeah, so that's where we stand um, as for confirmed reviews I'll keep doing Power Rangers all the time because huge money maker and I like Power Rangers so yeah uh, Super Sentai not going anywhere uh, like I said because I like Power Rangers I love Sentai and I'm always excited for Sentai, even when it's not good. I eat Ghost Sager. I still really like Ghost Sager's toys. Not a huge fan of the show, but the toys were really cool. Um, Rider. It's kind of a hit and miss sort of thing. I might skip a year like I did with Forze. I might come back in for the next year if I really like it. Rider's going to be very hit and miss. I'm just not as attached to it as I am Sentai. Um... So, Sentai is confirmed, Rangers confirmed, I, I'm saying confirmed, that's stupid. Rider is hit and miss, um, figure arts would be whatever ones I purchase. D arts, um, basically I'm going to continue the lines that I'm doing uh, for D arts, so any Pokemon releases, Digimon releases, or Mega Man releases I would get. Um, and anything else they make that I really, really like 
for that franchise I'd pick up. Um, Ultra Act, I don't really do, but if they make a Ginga, I might pick up Ginga because I'm watching it, and I really like his design, so I might pick up a Ginga um, if they make an, when they make an Ultra Act of him. That's, there's no if involved in that. Uh, when they do, hopefully it's retail, I'm sure it will be. So I'll probably pick him up. Um, maybe review it. Uh, what other lines are there? I don't do monster arts. Uh, I'm forgetting something important. I don't remember what it is. Past that 15 minute mark. I'm going for 20 now. Uh, uh, Pokemon toys. I found the Wave 2 figures at, or some of them, the, the clip and carry ones. Found them at the Toys R Us I used to work at. Uh, I've found three of the six new ones. Didn't pick any of them up. If I do pick them up, I will review them maybe. They didn't do as well as I thought. The Pokeplot kits and the D-Arts Pokemon tend to do better than the Tomy releases. But we'll see about those. When the Digimon Fusion toys hit, I do plan on reviewing those. So Digimon fans look forward to that. So I do plan on doing those. Um, not sure how heavy in the line I'm going to go, but um, we'll see what their lineup looks like when those toys release next fall or something. It's like a year from now. It's really stupid. Um, so I'm doing those. What else do I do? I think that's it. Any Nintendo Figmas that come out, I'll review. Um, I think that's it. LBXs. Uh, I'll keep doing all the war stuff. I'm going to go back and do a couple of the double kits I have. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to stick with the new releases for LBX as opposed to going back. If once this new budget takes effect, I have a lot lighter of a workload, which I will because I'd be buying significantly less figure arts. And that's what takes up most of my reviewing time. Uh, then I might go back and review some of the LBX. I do plan on reviewing Oculus D9 and Odin Mark II. I got my last uh, Ami Ami box just because those are really cool kits. Uh, Gruzion will be up on Friday of this week. Um, the, which it might have went up yesterday. It depends on when I post this. I think I'm going to post it today, which is Wednesday. So that might happen. But for the most part, that I think covers everything. Uh, that's my plan, and that's what I'm going to stick to. So uh, let me know what you guys think if the whole figure arts reduction thing is good. And uh, we'll get there. So uh, take care. Have a great one. Let me know what you think. Bye.